But, you know, other than that, that game was just great. And up until now, that's probably my favorite game that I've been playing this year. And with that, <laughs> let's talk about the bad ones. <laughs> Our biggest, well, not necessarily bad. Our biggest disappointment, which means we thought it was going to be really good and turned out to be a garbaggio. So, garbaggio. I'm going to start. I know someone here will agree with me. It's on me. I'm biggest on me. disappointment, Just Cause 2. I agree. I, I, I disagree. disagree. That's on me. I disagree, too. All yeah. right, well. I will kill you. Although, although I didn't like it, I didn't really have... Any anticipation for it, so it, I can't say it's my most disappointment because yeah. I only let's, planned on flying an airplane in it for let's, let's three and a half hours. Tim's disappointment first. I I hoped a lot. I watched the trailers. They promised me jumping out of airplanes and doing crazy stunts and this all this fluid, crazy, just nutty things like just doing stunts. Like okay, I'm gonna go into an airplane. I'm gonna jump off and do a flip and land on a golf cart and then drive and catch up with the airplane and then throw out a grappling hook, reboard it, and fly it away. Like, I was promised that, okay? I What I got was things like so such clunky controls. I couldn't aim the grappling hook to save my own life, literally. Uh, the parachute worked well, but oftentimes you find yourself in dead air, and even if you could hit something with the grappling hook, it was out of range or something. So, like, it was, it was so hard to effectively use it. And then once you... You got to an object, you never really knew what to do once you were there. Because then it would take another five minutes to line up. Gunplay was a mess. I couldn't aim and shoot anybody. Thank God I had so much life, it didn't even matter. Because I just had more life than I could possibly have imagined. So if that was the way of balancing, then that was the way of balancing. But it really was anticipating. I was looking forward to playing around with that grappling hook. Like, can I tie that up to a person and that person to my car and drive? Or can well, I... do that. I could. I tried. It took. I we co twisted. Yeah. We tried for a while, and yes. we were like having a lot of problems. We, we sat there for like eight or nine minutes trying to tag this one guy. I mean, thank. And God. he died so many yes. times. Thank God, the fact that the enemy can be standing in front of you, just pumping lead into you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We sat there. For we nine we minutes went through like so many people because we kept killing with a grappling hook. Yeah, we would just we'd shoot him with the grappling hook. Shoot to the car. Didn't work. Shoot him with the grappling hook. Shoot him to the car. Didn't work. Shoot him with the grappling hook. Crap! He died. Oh, Next what, what you have to shoot. do is you have to shoot him with the grappling hook and then go into the car. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Undercut. Really? What? Yeah. When is that explained? <laughs> 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 that sounds a lot simpler. And but even a, even a lot of the things like, but everything else you tie together, you gotta do that. So yeah. I was hoping, oh, why don't I create like a trip wire where, okay, so these trucks are gonna be coming through. I'm gonna put a line on each side or whatever. These people are gonna walk through and they'll be walking into my line and then they'll be have to like go around it. And, like, it was just so hard to do. It's so hard to execute simple things. And it's like, ugh. So the one time I was, in the, uh, in the screen capture, I was having fun at one point where I was just jumping between cars using this auto-aim. I didn't know where I was going. I wasn't aiming. I wasn't, I was just praying to jump, board next car. They're literally buttons. And I was just like, okay. And I was just bouncing, 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 just driving, punching people out of their own cars. It's pretty much playing Grand Theft Auto with just a jumping command or, like, wheel man. Um, but anyways. <laughs> wheel man. <laughs> And then when, what happened when I actually was having fun? The game glitched out on me, and I got stuck on this little cart-looking like thing. Yeah, you got stuck chopped. there, and you couldn't get off. I got stuck on the stuck. side. So at that that was the final straw. I turned off the game, and I never looked back. Well, I think Rans and I, we, we sort of came at it from a different angle. Like, I think when we saw Just Cause 2, we didn't really have high expectations of it. I know when I first saw it, I like, the first game I thought seemed kind of laughable, and it just, I was not interested at all. And then, you know... From watching some more information... Oh, the first and, one was so bad. Yeah, and then watching more stuff about the second one, I was oh. like, all right, I'll at least, you know, check it out for a little bit. And then I was actually really impressed, and I found myself constantly going back to it, not just for... Not for the story, which was god-awful or anything like that. Yeah, but and not the, to mention, yeah, the whole story thing, not yeah. interesting. The mobility at that, all. in that game is fantastic. Something about that formula where you... You grapple from incredibly far away and then throw up the parachute and then you can traverse like all the different parts of the level so easily. Like I just found that so addictive. Yeah, that was good if I could do it. 
It, I didn't really find the controls that frustrating. I, I mean, tried it I with, understand what you're yeah. saying about the AI and the story. And oh, the, the AI was play. awful. But like, you had one guy who literally just faced the other way. He completely yeah. ignored our existence. But I think it's a, a, a really good idea of a sandbox because you have this huge... You know, I love the concept. To, to screw around with, and like you can go up in the sky, you can parachute down, and yeah. you can throw explosives, and I think that was really what made it fun for me. What about you, Rans? <laughs> uh, speechless. Um, <laughs> He's speechless. Yeah, He's they, they founded in our. Reply. I like the concept. Like I like all basically, that. Basically, what I just she couldn't said do it. Was, Basically, what she said, it's like a great sandbox game. It doesn't have a story. And it is. But you don't if really you could control it, and I couldn't. I, so I, I had that I had that kind of trouble with the demo, but for me with the actual game, it was a little more, you know, polished a little bit. And it wasn't like completely polished, but it was a little more versatile, if you know what I mean. It just felt so bad. I did it on controller. I did it on PC. Disgusting both times. Mm. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. Well, so one thing I would have really liked to have seen was was implementing the. The grappling hook in more in combat than it was now, especially. You, you never really needed it. You could yeah. pull people down off like ledges, but you have all these guns, and they're not shooting yeah. you very well. So just blow them away. I know, but grenades I, were I, like I, missiles. So what does it matter? Yeah, well, that, that was that was why I said like what I really wanted to see was since I was hearing this was taking kind of in a South America area was to get like a jungle map where you could be doing like Tarzan stuff, like zip lining through the trees with your. Which would have been great. And taking out guys below you or something while they're like searching around, yeah. pushing through the brush, like looking for where you are. Well, like, we, you, you what really been great is like, it's it's like Splinter Cell, like Ubisoft or whatever developers made this game and made like a stealth action game, mm -hmm. a nice fluid thing. Be planting C4, swinging around. Yes. That's what I would want to, one day want to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so keep it going around. Scalbar, I well, assume you're going to say Just Cause? Yeah, like. I, I well, guess it's a little different for me because I had no expectation. Hell, I didn't even know the game was coming out until I saw you guys yeah. playing the demo. Oh, crap. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Did but they I, announce this? And it's really hard for me to disappoint because I have very low expectations on games or whatever. If it if it's yeah. a game, if I like it, then I'll play it. Yeah. That's, that's all I really need. But, you know, I just saw you guys playing this game and I saw the grappling... Yeah. Like, you'll do all these crazy things with, like, the parachute and the grappling and stuff, and I thought, oh, man, this is awesome. But then just seeing everything else, and it's just such crap. Yeah. It's I, just I like, it's it, like, it why, just like why would you do that? It's just like people, like, fashion people, it's like, oh, well, it just didn't work. Like, you, you made nice things, but it just didn't work together. It just mm -hmm. didn't happen. None of it happened. I couldn't, I couldn't get a handle on making it happen. And what, another thing that pissed me off, cutscenes. On PC... You have a quad core gaming PC built for your things. A beautiful, yes. beautiful thing. And the cutscenes will be completely destroyed, and the regular like, gameplay yeah, is fine. That's one thing that. that Confusing. That, it just Why? makes no sense. Because normally in games, it's the other way around. The cutscenes look really good, and then the game gameplay ends up being dumbed down a bit because it has to be done in a lower res. Um, the only problem is, though, um, Just Cause 2 has it all ass backwards, where it's. Their cutscenes look like crap, but then the gameplay looks awesome. Yeah, they were just, pretty bad. It just makes no sense. Uh, no, no logic is there as to why that should have happened. Brandon Lynch. Um, I don't get it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Catch me in the moment. Yeah, so it just uh, it, yeah, it, yeah. It confounds me as to how that could even be allowed to happen. Ken Lynch cutscenes were the best part. The gameplay was bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's See, at, le at least they got it the right way. That's graphical. The cutscenes were like, that. oh my god, yes. And the game, I was like, oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that because, like, yeah, some games, like, they'll just give one thing completely right and then the other thing completely wrong. Well. I got sucked in with a cutscene and then, like, thrown away by the gameplay. Like, freaking Sniper is so wrong. Who invented that? <laughs> Radix, most disappointing. Um, my most disappointing game of the entire, of so far, has been my most anticipated game of this year, <laughs> Aliens vs. Predator. Right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I personally, I still like it. I still like it. Don't, I'm not like hating on it, but. I, I do, and I will hate on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just so upset with it because of what it promised to do. Kind of like you with Just Cause, Tim. Um. It had great innovations. You could walk on walls pretty much with the aliens. You could, you had like like three different vision modes with the predator, 
And the Marines, you know, they... They, yeah, they were Marines. Yeah. <laughs> they had guns. Yes, they had guns. Um, it had great 